I think in order to be a good scientist, you have to be good at not just mathematics and not just doing scientific experiments, but we need to be able to communicate our ideas. Coming into this environment and seeing the energy that's generated in this classroom by the students. And when I came here today, they were so eager to explore new ideas and show me what they had been doing and um, run experiments and, and just head, head down that path. And I think that kind of excitement and enthusiasm and passion for science bodes well for our future. And I think those students are going to have a leg up on those who, who don't, don't really have that desire and that drive because oftentimes I think that's really what drives science is, is a passion for learning and a curiosity and a desire to, to try something new, learn something new and see what might happen if I try this. And that's exactly what I observed today with these students. They, they weren't following a prescribed script of any kind. They were exploring and learning and being able to be creative is crucial to the de development and um, advancement of scientific ideas. I think a lot of the scientists at the lab recognize that our young people are really important for the future of science and we all want, we want our legacy to be carried on by someone else and so there's, there's an awful lot of mentoring of students, a lot of internship programs and uh, going out into the community and meeting with students and working on uh, collaborative projects with students to really get them in the pipeline and, and connected with scientists and with, with what we do um, in the work environment in terms of science and, and sometimes that's different from how they learn it in the classroom and I think it really helps the students to be able to interact with the scientists and, and talk to them and, and come into our workplace and see what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis where we are.